arthropods at least 380 million years ago probably used their limbs to paddle through shallow water. Tetrapods include all amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. About 310 million years ago, the common ancestor of all reptiles and mammals evolved an amnion, a watertight membrane that surrounds the embryo inside the egg. The watertight membrane allows these amniotes to reproduce on dry land. A wide variety of animals have descended from this common ancestor. By 290 million years ago, amniotes had split into two main lineages. One is identified by a single hole that evolved in the skull behind the eye socket, called the synapsid opening. It was mammals and their now extinct relatives, all called synapsids, that descended from this ancestor. The second lineage of amniotes is recognized by a pair of holes that evolved in the palate. This was the beginning of sauropsids, or reptiles. Over the next 50 to 60 million years, turtles, lizards, plesiosaurs, and pterosaurs all evolved from this common ancestor. About 230 million years ago, the first dinosaur evolved in the reptile lineage. It's recognized by a hole in its hip socket. All dinosaurs share this feature. specialized joint allowed the hind legs to go straight down from the hips rather than sprawling out to the sides as in turtles and lizards. Some scientists think the joint allowed dinosaurs to run upright and with greater endurance than other reptiles. Then, 65 million years ago, things changed dramatically. A huge asteroid or comet hit the Earth near present-day Yucatan. Tremendous volcanic activity in many parts of the world. These events would have caused severe environmental disruption, temperature changes, and acid rain. It seems that the dinosaurs could not adapt. Most died out. It was the end of the age of dinosaurs. But one group of animals that had evolved from the first dinosaurs survived. Birds. They have the characteristic hole in the hip socket inherited from the common ancestor of dinosaurs. So, today's birds are really living dinosaurs. Throughout the 500 million years of vertebrate history, millions of species have evolved, lived, and died out. It's a process that continues to this day. Cycles of evolution and extinction have produced the rich array of vertebrates and all organisms with whom we share the Earth. But the diversity of living things is under threat. Just one species of vertebrate, humans, has the ability to cause extinction on a scale perhaps even greater than at the end of the age of dinosaurs. the ability to understand our family tree, can we take responsibility for its preservation as well? You have just begun your exploration of the history of vertebrates, because this platogram is also a map of the halls on this floor. Walking along the main black path through the halls is like walking the trunk of the evolutionary tree. 